In this GIMP tutorial, I will show you how to convert a color image into a color splash image. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. If you're new to GIMP, the easiest way to bring an image into this viewpoint here is to actually have it selected in a folder and then simply just drag your image into GIMP. Now this is asking me to rotate the image because although this is actually taken in portrait it's trying to put it up as put it in as a landscape so I'm going to just select rotate. I'll close this down. Uh, with uh, GIMP a couple of things are worth um, learning. Moving your image you'll need to hold your middle mouse button down and you should be able to move your image so just remember middle mouse and if you want to zoom in you hold down control and roll your middle mouse so that's control and middle mouse for zooming in and holding your middle mouse down to move your image around so that's the simple things now for this to work because what we're doing is um, basically creating a black and white background there are a few other ways you can do this but I find this is the easiest way what you'll need to do first of all before doing anything else is just come up to layers select layer and then next to transparency you need to make sure that you've selected add alpha channel so select alpha channel now if you're using the eraser um, and you want a blank background or anything like that you will always need to have an alpha layer put in okay so the next thing I'm going to do is depending on the version of GIMP what you'll need to find is something called create a duplicate of the layer and add to the image sometimes they're up here it really depends on the version but that's what you need to do you need to create a duplicate so select this select the bottom image by left clicking on it and for now just select the eye so that you can't see the top image come up to the top of the screen again and next to under color select color Again, you can you've got a few options for desaturating but for ease next to desaturate just select desaturate and then select OK and this is giving you a black and white image now select the top image and also turn it on again OK now the other, other thing you may want to do because if you want to make your image stand out even more is perhaps if you go to colors and then select saturate you can drag this scale up a bit so you get brighter colors out of your image so that's something you may want to consider and then select OK Now rather than cutting around this, uh, I, I find it's just as easy to use an eraser. So you need to look for the eraser tool. Select this. And you've got a few things. Um, the size, also the type. Again, these are in different places on different versions. But you've got different options. I'm going to select this one here. I don't know what it's actually called but it's I think it says it should something like um, what's well number two by looks of it anyway so first of all I'm going to just change the size for now so this is quite big by dragging this up because I want to get rid of the um, as much of the background as possible and also the hardness I'm going to just drag this up obviously there's other adjustments but for this this will do so I'm, I'm not going to change the hardness now it's at a hundred percent I will change the size so I'm gonna just hold my left mouse button down and just gradually remove as much as the color as possible without going over the 
part I want to keep. It's quite quick this way if you take your time. Also you can just rather than just holding your left mouse button down you can carefully cut it away just selecting it like this. Now another thing that's worth remembering if for instance I was to do something like this and make a mistake Control Z is always a good option so if I press Control followed by Z I'm back to um, the point before I raise this area here this is another thing it pays to do small areas well especially where you are never done it before because if you did make a mistake like this say uh, you can go back and change it okay so once I've got rid of as much of the area as I can with the large tool or the large eraser all I would do is just Hold down control, roll my middle mouse, and zoom in, and then change the brush size again. So I've got a smaller brush. And this is where you can start doing more of the detail. Now, if you place this sort of um, ring right on the edge, that will give you roughly what you're looking for using this number two selection. As like I said, sometimes it's paid to do a little bit at a time, or you can just drag your mouse along keeping it as close to the edge as possible and obviously in these areas I'd have to change the size again because I need to change it again this is it's not quick there's no magic uh, way of doing this you just work around it until you're finished so I will go ahead and finish doing this using different sizes and uh, I'll come back to it when I've finished and uh, show you how to render your image. I finished raising around the edges of this flower I've also gone into some of the detail in between although for this tutorial I probably didn't need to so all I'm going to do now is save the image. If you come up to file and what you're looking for is export as select this and then you need to select a folder to save your um, image to. So I'll put it on desktop just to make it easy to find. Do that here and then at present it's saying JPEG or we'll save this one as a JPEG but if you want to change it just select where it says select a uh, file type by extension just left click this and you've got different options here obviously JPEG PNG depends what you want so I will leave this as JPEG and then select export quality depends whether you want to reduce quality I don't see the point so I might as well take it up to 100% you can use these arrows here and that's basically it and then select export and hopefully you'll have an image that won't necessarily look like mine but is um, a half decent color splash image Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.